Yes, exactly. And yes, this is exactly the kind of effect that we are seeing and the effect that you saw, which leads me over to the last point that I would like to talk about, because um, I think it was an end of December that you had an encounter with a Muslim, Hamza Tsorsis, and you were asked to debate him and we have not seen any videos yet, but there are a lot of rumors floating around the Internet. Um, particularly those where you are being accused of being so bowled over by his arguments that you couldn't uh, answer him anymore and you actually stormed out of the um, out of the auditorium could you just set the record straight and tell us from your point of view what actually happened there oh I'm sure there's a lot of rubbish that's being said but let me tell you how it all happened I didn't know this person never had never heard of him Hamza sources whatever some students came up to me in my university and said that they would like me to debate this man. Well, I said, sure. I didn't know that he was not in the city, that he had to fly in from Islamabad, where he'd be talking to students and converting them to a harder form of Islam. But anyway, he, he came, and instead of 10 people, there were something like maybe 150 or so. He brought a whole television crew with him, and he asked, can this be videoed? I said, sure, no problem on that. Well, when he started speaking, I found myself in trance. He's a marvelous entertainer. Let me tell you what he said. He talked about Stephen Hawking, about M theory, Einstein's theory of general relativity, and so on. Saying that uh, people think that all this is new, but uh, the Quran already knew about the Big Bang. It, and then he recited some verses from the Quran and he said, see, what scientists are saying today is no more than confirmation of what was said uh, 1400 years ago. And so on. So when he finished and I got a chance to speak, I said, uh, I am, I, I, I'm, I'm enthralled by the magnificent entertainment you provided. However, what I do not understand is that when I studied in theory, the Einstein's general relativity, the Big Bang, and so forth, and actually have written some papers also on these subjects, I didn't see what you saw. And just so that we're on the same page, can you tell me what M theory is? Or perhaps could you write down what uh, Einstein equations for general relativity are and tell us a little bit about uh, Stephen Hawking and his black holes. Well, he took offense at this and he said, why am I required to know this? Do you know about the Quran? Can you recite verses? I said, well, a few maybe because I learned them as a child. But I'm not trying to make a point. You are. If you really know what you're talking about, tell me what Einstein's general relativity is. Tell me what M theory is. And so he lost his temper at that. And he, uh, his tone changed. And then in a matter of moments, he started saying that I was anti-Muslim. I was anti-Islam. And I said, hang on. Did I ever say anything like that? In fact, people in the audience protested. He didn't say anything like that. And so uh, I asked him to apologize. I said, you've made, you've said a lie. Apologize. So I said, I'm not going to debate a liar. Somebody who said something that I never said, never meant, never hinted at. How dare you say that? Why should I waste my time with a a liar. Now, let me tell you that that big television crew that he brought with him, they videotaped everything, and yet two months have passed by. I think this was in, in December or sometime. And I haven't seen that video on, on YouTube or wherever it should have been posted. I've looked for it. I can't find it. Why not? Because this guy made such a blunder, and this wasn't the only blunder he made. He made, you know, he pretended and yet he gets all his facts wrong. And so when I correct him on that, he loses his temper. 
So I'm afraid you have to go and ask him to put the, that video onto the internet. And until that is put on, I think he's got no right to say anything about me. And when that video is put on, you'll see just what a liar he was. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you very much for coming here now and setting the record straight and providing us with some real facts. So let's now, well, all we can do now is wait to see when the video is going to come out and then we can make up our own mind to see um, <laughs> what is real and what is not. So I'm really hoping to see this soon and we'll can't wait. And just one, one point I'd like to add, that uh, he packed this this hall with uh, people who were essentially his supporters. And yet when this all ended, quite a few of them came to me and said, you know, Professor, we came in as his supporters. And yet when we heard you and him, we thought that you made more sense. We're still not on your side, but we thought that you made more sense than he did. Wow, that's actually good to hear because I see this as a good sign. And, and what you said earlier as well, that you have a lot of hope that in the future things will change and that science and rational and reasonable thinking will take over. Um, I hope that you are right and that this will be um, the, the, the truth for the future. Absolutely. So, Professor, thank you very, very much for your time. I am, it's, it's really been an honor and a pleasure talking to you. Um, it, it, really, it hasn't been all that easy. So thank you very much for your time and your input and hope to speak again under easier circumstances. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.